Hi, Fiona Kennedy here. To tell you briefly about working with post-traumatic stress and trauma. Now, that might seem like a bit of a niche thing, but we know that so many of our clients have childhood abuse issues, neglect issues, just not good enough parenting issues. And also we deal repeatedly with people who've had uh, more kind of one-off trauma in adulthood. Obviously some people have a combination of both and it's not totally clear distinction. But working with these things has become the topic of popular discussion and there are many approaches out there now. We've got Edna Foer's uh, Reliving Treatment, we've got Ehlers and Clark's Trauma Focused CBT, we've got EMDR. And back in the day, uh, when I started being a therapist, which was a long time ago, I used to just sit and listen to people. And I think in that um, creating a safe alliance where the person can calm down, where the parasympathetic nervous system can kick in, sometimes people begin to access to get in contact with traumatic information in new ways and work through it that way too. But the other thing I think about working with PTSD is that just addressing the trauma is not sufficient. We also need to help the person switch from avoidant coping, aversively driven uh, living to appetitive living. So where they are getting joy, where they're getting fun, where they're participating. And so actually the work is bigger than just that. And even though the work is bigger, it doesn't necessarily have to take forever. So anyway, those are my thoughts about working with PTSD. Oh, one more thought is that the different therapies, so CBT, um, compassion focused therapy, CFT, dialectical behavior therapy, DBT, and ACT have all got a lot to bring to this area. So I'm going to say bye bye now, and I'm not going to show you Rosie again because she's gone to sleep. So see you soon. Bye.